Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you an integration of Bolt running in Unity with Lean Touch. And what this will allow you to do is you can uh, get really fancy and use your uh, touch tools a lot easier uh, with using this type of integration. Bolt is a visual scripting tool for Unity. And I'm, I'm not going to really show you a long video of this. I'm going to do a quick overview of what I've done. So I'm just going to quickly show you what's happening here first. So I'm going to run my scene and you'll see when I touch this circle here, this is built in with lean touch uh, out of the box, it lights up. If I go here and my ant gets squished by touching it. So that is a combination of bolt with lean touch interacting with each other. And I, I just really want to show you quickly how to do this. And first things first is you gotta import lean touch. And then I add up my lean touch, lean figure down and lean select. Now. You can see here what settings I'm using. Uh, you can try to, you know, copy that if need be. Uh, I didn't really change much here at all. Um, but where it really starts getting different is when you get into your graph. So you'll see here what I'm doing is on my object I've actually added. Uh, one second here where is it so I've added lean selectable lean finger tap you can you can add several different ones and essentially uh, what you're doing here is you see on tap I've got I just want to make sure you can see that so on tap I'm actually selecting my ant ant sheet zero one sorry ant sheet zero and that's targeting the flow machine and what that's going to actually do is trigger a unit event called tap and I can actually access that, which is actually right here, tap. So if I run this, what you're going to actually see is when I tap the ant, it's a poorly drawn ant, but you know, that's something else. So what you're going to see is the nodes are actually moving. So I'm actually triggering the lean touch script that's calling bolts and I'm actually able to capture that event and use it and my console tapped ant so we see that we tap the ant that's in console great uh, if I tap this that also says select it uh, if I show you my circle this uh, graphs a little easier to, to look at um, as you can see I have multiple captures here for did I tap it is touched down is it selected uh, but essentially again you can see the nodes they are moving and it's being triggered and of course my console is being updated so you can use this many different ways but you know it's there's many different ways to achieve this solution of allowing touch and bolt interact with each other. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Again, this is just a quick overview of what I've done, how I've used it. Um, any questions, feel free to add them to the video or the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it. If anyone wants a longer, more in-depth video, maybe where I do it from scratch, let me know as well. Until the next video, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.